Hello, welcome to my LooTube. I'm Lou and today I'm going to be testing the theory that I'm fit to fly. I was supposed to fly this weekend to Turkey for a race. I had a place in the Grand Fondo World Series, uh, which is a qualifier for the World Championships next year, but um, obviously couldn't race because I broke uh, and dislocated my hip uh, nearly three weeks ago. Uh, so I've been off my bike um, and off my feet. I've been on crutches. Uh, I've got another three weeks or so on crutches. Um, I couldn't get a refund on my flight to Turkey this weekend because I was deemed fit to fly because I haven't had surgery and I can use crutches and stuff. So, um, but we didn't go. Uh, I've rebooked those flights for a trip to Prague for February for Rob and I. But today we are going to a different type of Turkey to get some Turkey. We're flying to Texas um, for Thanksgiving, <laughs> which is later this week. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I've pre-booked assistance through the airport. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know if that's us borrowing a wheelchair or if it's getting on one of those really noisy carts that rushes through people. I don't know. I've got my crutches and I can crutch along um, if I need to, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, before we go, I wanted to show you a box that I got from Toby one of my mates who lives up in the cold dark north he addressed it to mrs hopalong vardaman care of cowboy sick bay um yes fragile handle with care package and recipient and it's a whole box of goodies i've got a book which actually i need to put that in my hand luggage i'm bringing that with me toby was actually given this when he was out of action with a broken back he came off his bike uh, in the summer and it's, thankfully is all okay he's back on his bike um and he's playing this forward to me sadly i probably won't be the last injured cyclist so at some point i will also be passing this on to someone hopefully it won't be you <laughs> but i'll be reading that and a whole box of other goodies some cool stickers lots of pink snacks and booze some uh, corn cake. I was um, having some uh, difficulties with <laughs> some of the medication I was on. And um, anywho, he sent me some <laughs> essentials, including this, which I was not sure what it was when I first received. I was like, oh my God, he sent me drugs. And funnily enough, this the second package that I thought I've been sent drugs. <laughs> I don't know what that says about either my thoughts or my friends, but it's not drugs. It's uh, a rolly um, <laughs> in case of uh, emergencies. But <laughs> thankfully, I don't need it. Everything is uh, moving along fine now. So uh, yeah, I'm going to carry on getting ready and I will talk to you when we're at the airport. See how that goes. What's the weather like in London? <laughs> <laughs> it's chilly. Oh. Is it going to be much warmer in Texas? Today it's this cold still. So oh. It should be much warmer than this. We'll see. So we're just about to go and check in. We're very lucky that because of Rob's status, he flies all the time. We've got um, super duper um, priority, like whatever it's called, um, check-in area. So <laughs> hopefully they'll look after us, but we'll see if we get given a wheelchair or one of the loud beepy things or what. So. It's, Let's go and check in. It's called first class check in. <laughs> so check in was fine and um, x-ray and everything was okay. They uh, wanted me to take my um, brace off and uh, put the crutches through, which um, was okay. They gave me a, a walking stick. Uh, to use instead which I hadn't used a walking stick before and obviously that's just one and I've been on two crutches so I was a little bit wobbly going through the x-ray I suppose if I couldn't have done that they'd have let me go through and just like scanned me or whatever I don't know but um I managed to get through fine uh we're at t5 at Heathrow which is super duper because when you go through the um first class check-in it actually goes straight into the lounge so you don't have to walk very far so it's super cool so I'm just sat in the lounge now got myself a little drink um, Rob is standing up there watching the football. <laughs> it's on one screen. We've asked it to be on a couple of screens so we can see it from here, but they don't seem to be able to change the channel. England are playing, so you'd think that 
in England you'd be able to watch it but anyway England scored so it's 1-0 to England which is awesome um oh yeah I forgot to say in x-ray I was amazed that there was no issue with my bag considering in my bag I've got uh, two of my injections for um, the blood thinners thing that I'm still taking and didn't even flash up as an issue so there's needles in there uh, and that's going to be fun on the flight so <laughs> but yeah straight through x-ray no problem and then they managed to work out how to change channels on the telly and it's on three different screens so Rob can see it from sitting here <laughs> England scored cheers <laughs> Rob went to check um, what assistance we were getting to the gate because it's quite a trek from the lounge and apparently a wheelchair is being delivered about an hour before the flight so um, we'll be using that and we will bring you the action from the wheelchair. So we had wheelchair assistance to the gate. I had to put a seatbelt on. Apparently that was a formality rather than uh, this guy's driving skills. He drove very well. Thank you very much. Um, but Rob's been selected for a security search. So uh, he's going to be frisked over there. I think he's going to enjoy it. Sorry, not first class. Yeah? No, keep going, not premium economy either. Thank you. Welcome to your room. Thank you. 29. Let's hope the middle seat stays empty. All boarded and ready to fly. The end score of the England game was 6-2, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, everything's fine on board and uh, my Half an hour wheelchair experience was interesting. Um, people were not aware of what's going on around them and were just cutting in front of and standing around and just being annoying. Um, not everyone, just some. And when I was going to use the lift, I um, had to queue up with a load of people who could have very easily used stairs, escalators, whatever. Aware that not all disabilities are visible, but I was just surprised in a very short amount of time in a wheelchair. Um, what it's like, um, people don't talk to you either. They talk to the person pushing the wheelchair, uh, which is quite interesting. So anyway, off we fly. We're in Houston now. What was kind of weird was there was only three of us on wheelchairs getting on the flight, but at least 10 people getting off in wheelchairs. So I don't know what went down in the air, but we're off. Here's my driver. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in traffic. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so we made it into Houston fine. The weather here is colder than home. 
So thankfully Rob's parents have got a lovely fireplace where I can sit by and I'm hoping that it might warm up for the next couple of days. They've also got a tiny telly that we can barely see the football on. <laughs> but everything's fine and we survived the journey and the jet lag. We had a little bit of a lay in this morning, but not much. In fact, no, we didn't at all. It was about half past seven, wasn't it? Yeah. But our body clocks was half past one in the afternoon, so hopefully we'll adjust the next couple of days. Um, that's about it for now. I'm going to wrap this up. We've got some pretty exciting things happening the next few days because it'll be a, um, my first Thanksgiving and we're on a rescue mission tomorrow to save Francis and Justin. If you don't follow um, Francis's videos already, you need to. Um, I'm going to be getting to meet him in my next video. Um, so please like, comment and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you very soon.